Okay, hey guys, welcome back to Fixing and Post. My name is Nick. Today, we're gonna to look at how to create this sort of text effect in After Effects. It's very, very straightforward. I just wanted to actually, it's actually more for me because I forgot how to do this. Let's dive right into it. So we'll just create a new comp here, 1920 by 1080. We'll call this Echo Text and uh, we'll make it 60 frames a second or whatever you wanna make it. And then we'll make it just five seconds, just zero, zero. And then we'll press okay. Now we'll just grab our text. So let's create a new piece of text. So we go, fix it in. Now I'm just gonna grab the, uh, we'll just make sure that it's centered and then we'll go to the align and then we'll make it dead center. And there we go, dead center. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the text here and go up to layer. And then we'll go down to create here and go create shapes from text. And there we go. We've got a shape layer here with the exact same property as what we had before. So I'm just turning the text back, text layer back on because by default it actually turns the text off. So what you can do is just drag this up and you can kind of see it does an exact copy, but this is actually a shape layer now. So what we can do is if you go in here, you can kind of see the path. You can actually manipulate the path of the shape itself, but we're not gonna use it for that reason. You can just turn it into a shape layer if you want. And speaking of cool text effects, you can get my Lyric Video Creator Kit in the description below with 22 text effectors that you can drag into Premiere. And best of all, no After Effects skills necessary. You just drag them from your Essential Graphics panel and drag them onto the timeline and they are ready to go. And besides, wouldn't you rather be spending your time doing something more meaningful than creating text animations for your videos? I mean, look, you could be doing so many other things. You could be going to the beach. You could be hanging out with loved ones, hanging out with your friends. You could be watching a movie or a series that you've been desperately trying to catch up on, the possibilities are endless. So grab that Lyric Video Creator Kit in the description below and let's get started. What we're gonna do is select all the uh, letters and then we're gonna press Command G or Control G to make it into one group, or you can just select them and just go group shape. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to put a repeater on here. So we'll go down to add repeater and we're gonna twirl down the repeater and we're just gonna change the X position here to zero and we're gonna change the up position to minus, the Y position to minus 198. All right, and we'll come in here too and what we'll do is we'll go to the fill and we'll turn it to none and then we'll go to the stroke and we'll turn it to solid and whatever, this, whatever width you decide to make the stroke but you can actually change it to you know, whatever you like. I'm gonna set it at two because that looks pretty nice. Now I'm gonna set the amount of copies to 10. And what that does is if you're not familiar with the repeater is that it will actually change the amount of copies to whatever you like. So that's kind of fun. So I'm gonna set it to 10 just to make it a bit easier for ourselves. And now I'm gonna duplicate this by pressing Command D or Control D, or you can go to edit and then duplicate. And then we're gonna drag this layer down just underneath to where we were before. So that first instance is right there. And we're gonna twirl down and go to contents and go to repeater. And we're gonna change this from the minus 198 to plus 198 and that'll go down that way. Now, what we're gonna do is create a new null and it's gonna be dead center. And what we're gonna do is gonna drag, we're gonna shift click all those and drag it, drag that little snail thing to the null. Otherwise you can just go here and go null three. And uh, what happens now is that we've parented everything to a null, which is fantastic. Now we're gonna set a keyframe here. So we'll twirl down and go to the property and kick a keyframe there. And then we'll go to maybe around, just so that the edge of that text is just right down the bottom, I'm producing the arrow keys to fine tune it, just so that's right there. And we'll make the beginning of this one so that the text is Maybe the bottom of this one. And I'm gonna make it so that the, the bottom layer of it disappears. All right, so if we play it back. And there you go. It's pretty much as easy as that. And you can kind of see that the way we've done it, it makes it look like it loops. What's really cool is that we can go highlight all that and we go edit duplicate. And with all that highlighted, drag it above the null. And there we go, we've got a separate instance of this. Now, what we can do is we can press P to bring up the keyframes or press U to bring up the keyframes. And with those keyframes selected, so make sure you press highlight the position and then right click on, make sure both of them are selected. 
highlight that, right click on that keyframe and go keyframe assistant and go time reverse keyframes. And what's happening now is that it's going, there's another instance of it going in a separate direction. But because it's overlapping over the top, we just want to move it to the side. Now, again, with the position selected, what I would suggest is it'll highlight both those keyframes so it moves it in uh, proportion. So let's highlight those two keyframes and move it to the left so it's just there. And then when you play it back and kind of see that it's they're moving in opposite directions and they're also looping, which is also fantastic. But we want to center it. So I just realized that I didn't actually explain how you move groups of keyframes without affecting the shape of the path. So what you need to do, it's not just a matter of just highlighting the keyframes or just drawing a box around the keyframes you want to select and just moving the keyframes. Because if you do that, if the scrubber is not in the correct place, it will actually create a new keyframe. So what you want to do is actually make sure that your scrubber, uh, this little blue thing here, is actually above one of the keyframes that you've selected. You can hold down shift if you want to snap to one of the keyframes itself, but make sure you're just above one of the keyframes when you do it. And with the scrubber above one of the keyframes, you can select all your keyframes and then start moving things and it won't create any new keyframes. But just be aware that if you move your scrubber above an area which doesn't have any keyframes on it, and you do try and proportionally try and move the keyframes, it will create new keyframes and you'll get some weird motion like this, which is not desirable. Although that does look kind of cool. So what we can do is we can go right click in the empty space here and go new null. And then we're gonna move that null here to just between where the split occurs, just somewhere around here. And that's pretty good. Now what we can do is we can hi using uh, command or control, we'll highlight holding command and control. We're gonna select this null and this null, and then we're gonna parent it to this null. And then we're gonna grab this null and we're gonna go align horizontally and that should bring things to the middle, but it's still not quite right. So we're just gonna have to do some manual adjustment here. And then we're just gonna scale things down just a touch. There we go, so everything fits in. All right. But there you go. Once you've got that all set up, it's pretty much easy. It's pretty easy to basically do some other text effects as well. So you can pretty much set it up to just kind of do really funky things like this 3D tilt effect, which is pretty straightforward. If you guys figure it out, post it on your Instagram and tag me at nickbenku underscore motion and I will repost it on my stories. Well, that is the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching and I appreciate the time that you've put in to actually watch this video. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you can click that subscribe button and click that like and even share this video around to people who might actually be wanting to get into After Effects but are finding it a little bit daunting. I know your mom, your dad, who whoever you want to get into After Effects, send them this video their way. And there's probably some other videos around here that you can click on if you want to try and catch up with some other stuff as well. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And remember, After Effects is not for editing. Peace.